Haluki Kobayashi. I am a third grade student of Moritsune Shogaku Elementary School. And Moritsune Elementary School. Now, today we are going to talk about Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you may know about Harry Potter and some of you may even love it. Now, for those who do not know Harry Potter, you will love it. Some people, like you maybe, some people don't understand Harry Potter so much because they're long, many topics. You some some of you may want to take them out of your head because they're too much of your to they're too much of your imagination coming out of the book that they're gonna explode in your head. So now we're gonna talk about how to express your feelings with books. Now we're gonna use this Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix book to talk about how to make your feelings right about reading. Now, here's a good page. This page already makes some of you want to rip this page out. But it is really easy once you know the basics. First, for example, you take a tiny book like this. Yeah, it's Japanese, but don't care. And then you take a tiny book like that and start to read in the most particularly tiny ways. Mm -hmm. And then, after you learn the basics, you try to learn from this to this. A little bit grade up version. And then, once you've all gone through your examinations, and then you go to these books. And now we're gonna interview Mr. Chai what? to ask him to ask him how he feels about books. Now, Mr. Chai, can I ask you something? Yes. Okay, good boy. So, what do you love? What do you love about reading? Ah, he says. Thank you, thank you, thank you, bye. He said he loves reading because it makes him go to his imagination. Mm -hmm. He loves it because it brings him to his imaginational life. He loves it because it is a imaginational, sincerely, completely imaginatical kind of object. Mm -hmm. So that is why Mr. Chai loves reading. Oops. And he fall and he fell on the TV and he just knocked Mrs. Sakula the TV director out. But enough of that. Now get let's get back to the topic. Why books are sometimes so hard to read? Mm. Sometimes books can make you kind of explode. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they make you want to kind of get it out of your body. Okay. And now let's think why some people feel like that. Okay. So, one of the reasons that people really don't like it sometimes is that some people don't like these long, long words. <coughs> but the good way to fix that is to imagine what is happening inside the story. If you imagine it, you can make it like a picture picture book or you can even make it a movie inside your head. For example, if it's Harry Potter, when you're reading the page, you can imagine it like a movie. Even a cartoon will be alright. So you can imagine the story so that you can enjoy it and really enjoy it and really enjoy it and really enjoy it. So, it's, it's simple, enjoy it and enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the end of my topic about reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening about my topic about book reading. And please watch my new videos. Bye-bye.